And it's now time for the business day. The Inter-American Development Bank, IDB, in its Caribbean quarterly bulletin suggests successful institutional reforms and sound policies put Jamaica in a strong position to face the COVID-19 pandemic. It says though the pandemic will precipitate the largest shock to growth on record for Jamaica, institutional reforms have put the country in the best economic and financial position in its history to respond to such a crisis. The IDB said the country entered the crisis with substantial cash buffers, equal to about four percentage points of GDP, a large primary fiscal surplus, and record low rates of unemployment. However, despite this strong progress, the IDB says Jamaica still faces challenges with respect to structure and performance of the economy, highlighting the need for continued reform. The bank noted that Jamaica's economic output is heavily skewed towards the services sector, of which tourism is a large portion, which accounts for about 72% of GDP. Jamaica's heavy reliance on tourism for economic activity and foreign exchange revenue highlights the country's extreme susceptibility to external shocks, as highlighted by the current crisis. The IDB argues that improvements in economic management will help free up resources for investment in social services and infrastructure. And it suggests that prudent macroeconomic management supports stability and provides incentives for both the domestic and foreign private sector investment, economic diversification, increased employment and productivity growth. But there are three key areas the IDB is suggesting Jamaica work on, including strengthening tax administration to increase the efficiency of tax collection and reduce evasion. Increasing the efficiency of public expenditure, as while it notes some progress regarding the size of the wage bill, program expenditure has risen significantly in recent years. And it finally wants to see an improvement in public investment management capabilities of line ministries and government agencies to aid economic recovery and accelerate long-term growth. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $143.75. The Canadian dollar sold for $111.20. The pound sold for $191, while the euro is going for $178.48. In today's trading session, the JC index declined by 4,647 points to close at 385,515. The junior market index declined by 24 points to close at 2,568. The main winners were Epley 8.75 preference shares, Kingston Properties, Jamaica Producers, Caribbean Cream and Mailpack. The main losers were 138 Student Living Variable Preference Shares, ISP Finance Services, Salada, Mayberry Investments and Palace Amusements. And that's the Business Day International Stories when we return.